Welcome back to the channel guys. Yeah, hey everyone. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, so today we'll be talking about agave trade winds, uh, which um, is actually a plant which is a, a hybrid originally from Thailand. Yes. So um, what was the story behind this one, Gareth? Yeah, apparently a nursery owner went over to Thailand, saw this beautiful plant, which we love as well, uh, thought he'd take it back to the US, and his nursery was called Trade Winds. So, named after that, mm. apparently. Agave uh, Trade Winds, yeah. very interesting, yeah. Yeah, and it's also called an agave potatorum variegata, and why is that, Jared? Yeah, so um, as Gareth was just saying, with variegata, it's because with this one, you'll see that it's got variegations on the side of its leaves. Um, so we'll probably pop up a picture here or here. Yeah. Um, but you'll yeah notice that it's bluish kind of green um, leaves with yellow kind of um, margins on the ends. Yes. Um, so apart from that, you'll also see they've got um, quite spiky teeth, which are maroon in colour. Yeah, something um, you can definitely uh, take into account if you do have kids or animals, just to be very wary if it's in a good location for them. You can actually cut them off or right back, uh, but it kind of, uh, you know... You lose a bit of effect of the point. Yeah, the aesthetic has changed a little bit, so... Yeah, just a bit of a little tip for you. Yeah, yeah so um, apart from that, You'll expect these guys to get about 30 centimetres wide and about 30 centimetres tall, uh, so about 12 inches either way. And in this case, this one's more or close to about 10 centimetres or 4 yeah. inches, um, going wide and tall. Um, but yeah, you will expect as well as this one gets bigger. Um, you can see that it's got quite a, quite a tightly um, formed rosette, but you'll also get the pups just kind mm. of coming out um, closely around the side as it gets bigger. Yeah, there is one at the front there, which uh, we'll show you in the picture again as well, I guess. So, were there any other, there were a couple of other similar plants when I went to the nursery. Um, this one's a bit smaller, there was another one very similar though. What, tell me about yeah, that Yeah, so they think with this plant that it's actually quite possibly a close relative of the agave quiche um, can. Yeah. Um, which is just basically, yeah, again, very similar, but a bit larger than this one. Yeah, probably should have got both of them. I wish, yeah, wish I could have, but mm -hmm. nah, we'll just slowly add to the collection. Um, so one of the amazing things about this plant and why we got it is because it tolerates pretty extreme temperature ranges. So it can be in full sun. Um, at the moment, we don't have it in full sun, do we? We've got it Bit more shielded. shaded. Just because it's a smaller plant and we don't want to bake it uh, when it's 40 degrees. But I think once it's a bit bigger, I think there should be no problem with that. Yeah. So like with any plant, guys, if it's, yeah, when it's less mature and not quite as big, they're a little bit more yeah. susceptible to the elements. So yeah. you're just a little bit more cautious when they are a bit smaller. Which we definitely are. And it can also tolerate down to about minus seven degrees celsius so it's about 20 degrees fahrenheit so that's a great temperature range for us in canberra um yeah so it's probably pretty applicable to a lot of places um which is yeah fantastic but we've potted it so that way we can move it we can put it in full sun if we want part shade we can even put it indoors as well which is another great thing about this plant if you wanted to keep it indoors um, they're not too big uh, when they're fully grown but what does it need jared uh, so, if you're having it indoors, just yeah. plenty of filtered light. Um, yeah, it should be. Yeah, it doesn't have to be direct. It just needs lots of light. Um, other than that, though, uh, yeah, tell them about the plant care. Yeah, so as we say with pretty much all of these succulents, guys, and I'm sorry to repeat myself <laughs> on this one. Uh, make sure you have a well-draining soil. Yeah. Um, the other thing is in terms of your watering. Um, so use the leaves and the soil as a barometer on that, in terms of if the yeah. leaves are starting to wrinkle in or if the soil's quite dry, then give it a water. Uh, but yeah, like with other succulents, you're more likely to kill it with overcare. Yes. Um, rather than, yeah. And the agaves especially, they, they do like to be treated a bit, you know, if you're a bit lazy, it's actually a good thing. They don't like Treat them and keep them keen. Yeah, exactly. Um, anything else? It's just light, isn't it? That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So through to propagation, we did mention that there's a pup on that plant. I'll tip it forward anyway, uh, just so you can maybe see it. There's only two small leaves on that one. So that's the way that we'd recommend you propagate them. Uh, this plant should get a whole range of them around the whole base eventually, fingers crossed. 
That one's a little bit too small to propagate now though. We'd wait for it to get a couple more leaves. Uh, then it'd be a little bit more mature, so more likely to actually survive. And then all you do, once it's got a couple more leaves, you cut it three to four centimeters below the lowest leaf uh, with maybe a sharp knife or secateurs. And then you're gonna let it callous, so just let it dry in a, in a dry place. So maybe a windowsill or a greenhouse for a couple of weeks. And then you can essentially wait for the roots to form, or you could put it in a sort of soil as well, uh, maybe to encourage it, but either way, you, you should get them eventually. So there is another way you could do it, isn't there, Jared? Yeah, you could use seeds for these guys. Why but, wouldn't uh, we do that? <laughs> the big problem with that, in terms of agave, they like to call them uh, century plants. And the reason for that is, in terms of their flowering, um, they generally take 7 to 25 years yeah. in terms of how long before they'll get the flowers on them. And that's not even a guarantee that you'll get them. That's just that's when you possibly expect it to happen. So if you're going to do it with seeds, um, yeah, you'd have to wait for them to flower and that could take you a very long time. Yeah, hopefully one, one day eventually we'll get a flower on one of these and we'll definitely do a video on that if that happens. Um, yeah, show you some seeds, but that'd be exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what a beautiful plant, eh? I think we'll wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so um, throw us a like, guys. Throw us a subscribe. We always appreciate the support. And yeah. yeah. Hopefully see you next time. Yeah. Take it easy. See ya.